Have you ever been finding yourself in a state where you have a lot of emails to write or a very sensitive email that you want to write and you've been thinking, you've been brainstorming about what and what to write? Maybe your boss is give, paying you less money and you want a pay rise and you want to write a comprehensive professional email to him? ChatGPT is a new sheriff in town and it can help you to write just that. You don't need an assistant for this. Yeah. You may want to think I need to write or you need to employ an expert in email writing, someone who is professional in writing in the use of words. ChatGPT can do very many things for you, including writing the email, giving you a comprehensive title, a very professional title, and convincing your boss to give you that pay raise or convincing your girlfriend to Forget about the heartbreak you gave to her. It can write love letters for you and it can respond to difficult text for you, even sucking letter. Chat GPT can help you to write a reply that can get you the job back once you coined your question towards what it can answer for you very nicely. So for those of you who have not no idea into what Chat GPT does and what it is, I have made a complete tutorial on how to use it. For most of your basic things and including research i will put the link in some of those videos in the description how you can use it in general and how even you can log into it um, but for now for this tutorial we're going to cover email writing how we can write an email and send to our bosses or our business partners or anybody we are working with okay so to start with you just come all the way to the chat gpt platform that you can see this is the main dashboard where you have the prompt area where you can write your prompt or chat directly with chat gpt and these are frequent, these are previous chats that we had or conversation that we had with ChatGPT. And you can check, you can clear if you want, and you can change the mood. You can check out the frequently updated questions, or you can upgrade if you so wish. But for now, most of the key things that you will get are completely free. So just go ahead and type what kind of email do you want ChatGPT to write for you? So you can type questions like, can you write an email to my boss seeking Pay rise. Okay, so let's see how if ChatGPT can do that. Certainly, I can help you write an email to your boss seeking a pay rise. There's a so dear boss name. So this is where you write your boss's name, and so this is the subject. It has even given you request for pay rise, professionally and politely saying request for pay rise, and then this is the boss. You just put in the boss's name. I hope this email finds you well. I'm writing to request a pay rise. Over the past year, I have worked diligently to achieve my goals and contribute to the success of the company. I have taken on additional responsibility and I have consistently exceeded the expectations set out for me. I'm proud of the work I have done and I believe that a pay rise will be a fitting acknowledgement of my contributions to the company. Now you can see I have researched comparable salaries in our industry. This is very polite and very straightforward and believe that my current salary is below market rate. And I would like to request a salary increase for you said inside the specific amount or percentage that you want uh, to bring my compensation in line with industry standard. I think this is kind of a bit too harsh. So maybe later I'll ask you to rewrite excluding this, but just giving general detail in a polite way that you want to have a pay rise. I am committed to continuing to work hard and contribute to the success of the company and I'm confident that a pay rise will not only be a fair reward for my efforts but will also motivate me to continue to perform at a high level. Okay, thank you for your consideration of my request and I'm happy to discuss this further with you at your convenience. And I like specifically the last uh, sentence over here that says thank you for your consideration of my request and I'm happy to discuss this further with you at your own convenience. Sincerely, you, know, you just put your name. So this is a complete email. You don't need to further have a headache or be nervous about what to write, what content to write. You can ask you to rewrite. You can say rewrite this email, removing the researched companies, companies part and re-intensifying my achievements for the company. Yeah. So let's see how it's going to write this. Sure, here's a revised email that focuses on your achievements and contributions to the company. So you can see request for pay rise. Okay, so boss's name, this email finds you well. This is, this is over the past year, I worked on how to achieve my goals and make valuable contributions to the company. So you've learned in these specific examples. So say provide, uh, for example, so now it's asking you to provide specific example. Now this is case study based. You are the one who know those achievements. You can state them and then you can just go ahead 
give them the achievements such as completing a project ahead of schedule, generating significant revenue, and receiving positive feedback from clients. If you have evidence of all these, you can just go ahead and cite and give examples. I'm proud of the work I have done, and I believe that a pay rise could be a fitting acknowledgement for my contributions. And I think this has responded very nicely in writing this, picking the some of my achievements. So it has given you the opportunity to now put in some of your achievements that you can use. So I can ask you to rewrite the subject for me because requests for a pay rise can be so direct and I think it's too uh, blunt. So you can just ask it, um, can you rewrite the subject? Rewrite the subject to look friendly. Sure. Here is a revised subject line that is friendly and still conveys the purpose of the email. Okay, so you can see request for a salary increase. Acknowledging my contributions to the company. And I think this is very, 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 very polite and is very professional and is friendly. So even the manager or your boss, by man looking, is just going to know that yeah, this guy is not just receive requesting for a salary increase, but he said acknowledging contributions to the company. And he might be interested in knowing what contributions has this guy done. He'd be interested in what and what has he done? How has he progressed this company that is requesting for a pay rise and clicking will just give him that answer directly. So this is a very good way to use chat GPT to your own advantage to write comprehensive emails for you that you can use it to win contracts to win your girlfriend. Let's let's ask it to write a love letter to my girlfriend. Let's just ask it. Can you write a love letter inviting my girlfriend to a dinner? So let's see. And it's going to write it for you. <laughs> Uh, of course, here's a sample love letter inviting your girlfriend to a dinner. Okay, here my dearest, yeah, my dearest. It just puts her name over there, or you put her nickname, or what you used to call it. I hope this letter finds you in good health and high spirit. I wanted to take a moment to express my, just how much you mean to me. Your presence in my life has brought me immeasurable joy, love, and happiness. As Valentine's Day is approaching. I would like to invite you to a special dinner that I have planned for us. I have made a reservation at just inside the name of the restaurant or eating joint and you've made this, the, the reservation for just inside the dates and time. Okay, so name of the restaurant, date and time. It's going to be very specific and you're just putting those details. I can't wait to spend the evening with you enjoying delicious food, sipping wine and simply reveling in each other's company. Okay. As I think back on our journeys to, uh, journey together, I'm reminded of all the beautiful moments we've shared from the first time we met to the adventures we've taken together. It's been nothing short of magical. Uh, you make every day better and I can't imagine my life without you in it. So this is extremely lovely. I think any girl can be convinced to follow you for this dinner. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for being such a wonderful girlfriend, for always being there for me, and for being my partner in life. I cherish you more than words could ever express, and I look forward to many more wonderful memories together. I hope you can make it to dinner and that you will enjoy the evening as much as I will. Yours always. You just put in your name. Okay, so Rashid, you can just write these two, your girlfriend. So this is just, you can ask it to write also uh, if you want, and you can just uh, give, ask it to give you a subject. Can you give a subject? Yeah, so this is sure. Certainly, here is a sample subject. If you can write a love letter to inviting a girlfriend to dinner, an evening of romance. Join me for a special Valentine's Day dinner. Yeah, I can see this is very, very nice. But assuming we are not in Valentine's uh, Day dinner, so let's say, can you rewrite? Rewrite it, removing the Valentine's. Yeah, remove the Valentine's Day. So it's a normal dinner without the Valentine's Day. Okay, so you can see, join me for a special dinner. This is good, and I like this better. I think generally for a special dinner. I think this is welcoming and inviting, and you can see uh, how you can e easily use it to lure her into uh, spending the evening with you on this very dinner. So this is very, very interesting, and you can even ask it to write to respond to a difficult email psyching from your boss. So let's say we can ask it to write, can you help me to write to respond to a psyche letter from my boss? So let's say, can you write a response uh, to a psyche letter to my boss? So let's see. Sure. There's a sample response letter to a psyche letter. Okay. It's it been sacked. There, put the boss's name. I was very disappointed to receive the news 
that my employment with the company had been terminated. As outlined in your letter of you just put the date, I want to take this opportunity to respond to the termination and thank you for the opportunity to work with the company. I understand the reasons behind the decision to terminate my employment and I take full responsibility for my actions. I'd like to apologize for any inconveniences or disruptions that this may have caused the court to the company and I assure you that it was very it was never my intention to let the team down or to act in a manner that was contrary to the company's values. I appreciate the company, the opportunity that I had to work with the company and acknowledge and, and the knowledge and experience that I gained while employed here. I would like to express my gratitude to you and the rest of the team for the support that was provided to me during my tenure with the company. If there is anything further that I can do to assist with the transition or the, to address any outstanding matters, please let me know. I wish the company continued success in the future and I hope that our path may cross again in the future. Thank you, thank you again for the time I spent here and for your understanding in this difficult time. Sincerely, I think this is very, very nice and um, uh, very comprehensive. You can just see the subject response to termination of employment letter. You can see very nice and the content also very nice. Just put in the key details that I requested, and this is going to solve you. You can just uh, coin it to your own idea. So this is just the broader picture. You can coin it and you can put in some more details capture some of the ideas that you want to portray or if there is any explanation you need to make you can also make that as well so the same way you can use it to write any kind of email for example you have a job application that you want to make this chat gpt can help you to write the email containing your cv to the employer it can write it very politely for you so can you help me let's just ask you to write a simple employment letter uh, employment email to to a company can you write an application email to a computer in IT? Okay. IT, for example. So you can see, can you write? Okay, so let's see if we can help you to write. Sure. Here is a sample application email for an IT job. Okay, IT job application. So you can put your name over here if you have any other things. Dear hiring manager, if you know his name, you can put dear to so person. I'm writing to express my strong interest in the IT position that was recently posted on. He said the area or, or the place you have seen it with a you can inside number of years, okay, of experience in the IT industry. You are telling them about yourself with this much number of years in with, of experience in the IT industry. I am confident that my skills and expertise can make me an excellent candidate for the, candidate for the role. My experience includes inside the relevant experience if you have any. I have a strong background in just insert. I have worked in various IT roles and I am well versed in just inside the key areas as well. Okay. It has just customized everything. It make the whole email customizable based on your own experience. So you can just go ahead and put in chip in your experience to make it a complete email. Additionally, I propose I possess excellent problem solving skills and I'm able to manage multiple projects simultaneously. These are your, some of your skills and edge, always maintaining a focus on achieving goals and objectives. I'm excited about the opportunity to bring my skills and experience to your team and make a meaningful contributions, you know, contribution to the company. I'm impressed by the company's reputations for excellence and innovation in the industry, and I'm confident that my skills and experience would be a valuable addition to the company. Please find attach my resume for your review and I'm available for an interview at your convenience and looking forward to discuss how I can contribute to the company's success. Thank you for considering my application sincerely. I think this is very, very nice. So you can just customize it, go ahead and use it to your own liking to write any kind of email. When it comes to email writing and composing professional email and to sound as you want it, to look as you want it. ChatGPT can help you and I assure you, you don't need an assistant for this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is about how to use ChatGPT to write an email, to write multiple emails for you and even to respond to emails that have been sent to you. At this point, you don't need an attendant, you don't need an assistant, you can use yourself just a few minutes to generate ideas that you can customize to fit in what you want to send. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, kindly hit up the like and subscribe buttons. It means a lot to me. and. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.